Good morning, class. Welcome back. <coughs> Today, I am here with a new topic that is plant life and avalanches. Plant life and avalanches. What are the various qualities of plant life? First, we will understand the meaning of plant life and avalanches. And what are the causes or what are the reasons why plant life take place? And which are the areas where plant life are very frequent, very common? <coughs> the sudden movement of the soil and the weather rock material down the slope due to the force of gravity is called plant slide. It's a sudden movement of rock. Rock falling from an upstairs side or from an upper hill side to the downward part due to the attraction of gravity, that is one cause, and being on a slope area, that is the other cause. While troubling masses of snow and ice mixed with the debris that rush down at high speed from a steep mountain slope are called avalanches. Avalanches are basically a mass of the snow or ice that fall from the steep side, that fall from the upper part of the rock to the downward part or to the steeper side. <coughs> now, some of the qualities of landslides are why landslides take place and in which all areas. You see, so some of the basic qualities of landslides are when some mountain ranges like those of Shivalik Hills in Himalayas are made up of unsolid sediments. Solid sediments means which is in unshaped one. It's a solid part only, but it is an unshaped one, which can revolve or which can go on to any extent. Or any parts of this slide down due to the rays of gravitational pull of the earth, that is called gravity, the earth attracts. <coughs> Suppose something is kept on the upper side and which is not in a proper shape, it has chances or high chances or there of falling of it. When it falls, the two reasons are the one is unshaped shape of the rock, second is the law of gravity that is attracting towards it. Secondly, the rivers flowing through the unconsolidated ranges go on weakening the foundation of the hills with the result they can collapse any time. All the pathway of the rivers they keep, they keep on collapsing, they keep on uh, melting with the rocks and at a, as a result there is a chance of weakening of the foundation. The foundation because um, throughout the year there is a presence of water which actually weakens the foundation of the river or the river parts. <coughs> the third reason is sometimes human beings also contribute to the landslides, especially when they build heavy structures on such hills. <coughs> heavy uh, structure here means all the constructions that are done on the steeper side or on the hilly side are basically the reason why the landslides take place. Under the weight of these heavy structures, sometimes these hills give under the weight of these heavy structures, sometimes these hills give way leading to landslides. <coughs> it is due to the weight of the building, it is due to the weight of the Equipment that leads to unsuitability of the planes. As a result, there is a fall or there is a landslide in that particular area. This happens because this happens because <coughs> the weight is not in a proper form. The first reason is that the base has become bigger due to the unshaped rock. The second reason is that the regular passes of water, regular passes of water is leading to the weakening of the root means the root has become weak and if you lay a structure over it, if you build a foundation over it, it is going to be destroyed. And the last one is, sometimes deforestation also leads to landslide. Deforestation is cutting down the trees. When the trees are cut, there is a um, misbalance in the ecology and the ecological imbalance leads to landslide. It is another basic reason. Now, the places where the landslides basically or frequently takes place. In India, landslides are common in the mountainous regions of north and northeastern parts. The cause of avalanche are also more or less the same. Both the reasons, the landslides and the avalanches take place wherever, uh, basically in the north and northeastern parts. Rainfall, earthquake, and volcanic eruptions play a major role in its occurrence. The three basic reasons why on a frequent basis. One is the rainfall, the second is earthquake and the volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions also play a 
major role in the landslide or the avalanches. So I'll put it till here. Tomorrow we'll see the tropical cyclones and drought. Thank you, class.